Hello. So yeah, I'm I'm in Wales. Don't know what I'm doing yet. But I'm in um Blainafestinyog. And yes, every time I will pronounce Blainafestinyog because I can't pronounce to save my life. Google Translate pronunciation on it. Um but yeah, I'm in this hotel room because um I it's quite far away. I mean it's it's not that far away, it's not as far away as a Kura, but obviously to Kura you have sleeper train and to here it's about five hours train ride and there's no really trains from the early morning you can't get a train at six in the morning to come here and they're also very expensive if you try and get on peak trains so i thought i'd just come here and get a hotel maybe at least i'm also refreshed and stuff like that in the morning and you know, i can wake up at 4 30 and uh, then um check out about five go on about the place um i'm not entirely sure where exactly i'll be going for the sunrise but bear with me so yeah, I'll be going to sleep early tonight, um, probably about 8.39, and then wake up at 4.30 in the morning and be out by 5. So yeah. Oh, that's bed is comfy, by the way. away um, it'll take me roughly an hour an hour and a half that's why I'm leaving this early for sunrise I love these birds, man. So charming, this early in the morning. Misty, very misty. See, I know you can't see me too well, but let me tell you this. With the lights off, you can kind of see some stuff. Obviously, because there's the moon illuminated, there's all that. And you can see where you're walking and all that. And so mist, right? I turn the flashlight on. And, oh God, <laughs> mist is thicker than I thought. I mean, fog mist, whatever the crap this is, it's thicker. See, it's never really what you come for. It's kind of what you find. And in this particular occasion, I found that, which you can't see. Ha, <laughs> funny, but there's a mist on that mountain. And it's quite a high mountain as well. What's that lake? There's another lake over there. I want to introduce to you my Graflex Speed Graphic press camera with a Kodak 6 and 3 8 inches lens which equates to about 166 mil. And I can frame using this. I don't even need to focus because that's focused to infinity already. It's got infinity blocks. And I've got this rangefinder as well. So the ground glass is partly useless right now. And especially I can't really use it because, well, you can tell. I don't think sunrise is going to do much for me. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, other than just make the sky a tiny bit colourful. I mean, the clouds a tiny bit colourful. 
Ain't gonna do much. You know, this, this is cool. Very cool. All right. It's already, yeah, let me just unpack the, the graphics. So uh, I've, I've set up the, the graphics here. I will explain to you later how I get this set up, but it's very easy. You open this, you pull out the lens up, the door stops. So it's got stop marks here. So that's infinity marks basically. And it's focused on infinity already. I, I can check anything I want, like the, the range finder, the, the ground glass, everything is fine. Uh, I frame it easily using this because it's a bit dark outside. And I've got D2 in, and it's uh, I'm using the, the back focal plane shutter. And um, yeah, we'll take a picture. It's 20 seconds at F32, ISO 100. Um, on the lens 166 mil, which equates to about 45 mil. It's actually quite a nice. Uh, it's not wide. I don't. I don't like too wide shots. But yeah. So before the light comes out too much and messes up my reading again, and I will just take this 20 second exposure. Where's Mordor? I have found another place. I think I kind of like this one. And it's mainly because of this twisty road and also, and also because you don't have much of the town in shot. Behold, that's the dam. Behold, the dam. The dam I give about the dam. That. So I just took a shot of that low hanging mist, just quickly set it up and, and took it. Because um, although I realize my lens is not that close up, I want to get um, a different lens as well for it, for the camera. Um, but I, it's, it's a huge negative, I can always crop in. It would still get me a lot, a lot closer. And you, you can always get like about 80 megapixels or some crap like that. You can print huge anyways to get a bit closer to the situation. But I framed it and all that. So it looks, it looks fine actually to me. I, I like it. This is what I came here for. But after walking so long, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> oh, like my back's killing me. I just wanna sit down somewhere and... Yeah. Um. I didn't know if this place would look just as awesome as I saw it in literally one photograph, but it does, it does. And that was, I think, a photograph taken in June. And although the trees were a bit greener, them, 
It's looking very good actually, I really like it. Thing is, it's about 11 a.m. and uh, <laughs> the sun produces a bit harsh shadows and just plain white light, which is, um, it's not a complementary factor to this, this particular scene. So I'd have to find a more intimate um, landscape, I shall say, composition for this. So for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, you should. And do you know why? Because I just did a live stream and people were really interested and not answered questions and stuff. It wasn't many of you watching. So this is the photography. I have this set up for that shot over there. And in particular, see the sun over there? Yeah, it will have nice little light streaks and shadows on it and it will make for a nice composition. So, let me just get doing. So I'm, I'm way too like chill in this place. <laughs> it's so cool here, just standing by the waterfall. It's noisy, but I, I live in a city, I'm used to noise. But this is natural noise, it's so much nicer. Um, I took the shot and let me tell you the basics of it. I wanted, like it is right now, there were basically streaks of light kind of nicely, softly on, on the rocks in the water. And I could take it at one tenth of a second. I used the shutter on the lens because somehow this green moss is too soft and I put the tripod on it and um, it just doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't hold steady, right? So I was like, I'm not gonna risk having a shaky picture. So I'll use the one tenth of a second and I knew that at f32 when the sun comes out it would be one tenth of a second for the, the shadows. I kind of meet it for the shadows mostly because I shoot colour negative so I really couldn't care less about the highlights. Blijf naar Vestin, Jacob.